Hey everybody, it is still uh, Wednesday, April the 12th at 3.30. I uh, thought I might come out here and show you what I'm doing to get my veg up and ready. Um, so, what I'm doing here, this bed here, I haven't, I've just rotor tilled a little bit. Um, and we did it, I did it to everything, all my garden beds. Um, except for my garlic bed and my uh, strawberry patch. See, so here I haven't done nothing to it. I just took, blew off the leaves and the straw and I'm leaving it like that. And I'll be mulching up the lawn and blowing it back into, the, into there for nutrients here. Um, like I said, I, I still got to do what I need to do to this one garden bed still. But if you look over here, I've taken a spade shovel to it um, already just to get some of the stuff turned up and over. And I'm going to be doing it to that garden bed as well, too. The only two that I have to do that to. Um, then this garden bed around all the way to the back of my um, garlic bed. I'm going to rotor till it a couple more times, um, especially after some rain. Um... Then I turned over um, all my soil here in these containers for my potatoes. Now my garlic bed is all the way back there. You see those stakes? That's where the garlic is, from those stakes to the fence. And uh, then I got my herbs spots over there where that, like, that sink is uh, and behind that tree and uh, where that stump is. And I've turned over those containers there. Um, so then I have, uh, I didn't turn that, the garlic bed over, sorry about that. I've turned uh, over with the rotor tiller here all the way up to my, um, this log here because I got, uh, I plant some stuff in there. Um, here I've ro did not rotor till because I got rhubarb sitting in there. Um, here I rotor tilled a little bit, a little strip here, and here I did not rotor till. Um, I just leave it as is because those are my older berries. Um, I turned over my blueberries. I've turned over my raspberries up on the back deck. I've turned over my Saskatoon. My raspberries are up there uh, in those boxes and that. Now I turn over everything else. Now, um, in the fall there, I put a whole bunch of horse manure in there. And I put a whole bunch of leaves in there. And as I um, am turning it over now, uh, I am watering it a little bit. And uh, adding ashes to it. I make my own... Um, bone meal out of uh, chicken bones. I, uh, I uh, use eggshells, coffee grinds, banana peels or potato skins. And these are all ground up other than the coffee grinds. Um, and I'll be showing you that later. And I also put some Epsom salts as I'm doing this all. Um, I also put a little bit, I, I have a septic tank here. And, um, I put a little bit of septic tank stuff into there as well, too. And, uh, just for the good bacteria. Um, and I put, uh, uh, yogurt in there as well, too, for the good bacteria. What I'll do is, uh, um, at the end of, uh, the last little quarter bit of my yogurt containers, because I got the larger ones. I will add water to it and uh, dump it. Um, I will uh, add cooler water to it um, into a watering can. And uh, you don't need much. Um, but uh, the less ingredients that are in it, the better. Um, and I'll sprinkle it with, uh, 
some yogurt with uh, diluted, like uh, for a watering can, I'll put like four scoops of uh, yogurt into it and uh, pour it in there um, as well too um, for the good bacteria that's in it. Um, and that's what I'm working on right now um, and turning it over. Um, so yeah, there we have it. Um, I've also added my composter into it as well in the, uh, um, I left everything from that I did not, could not eat, um, all that, uh, composting I left in there and buried it under the manure and the leaves. So, uh, I also put wood shavings in there as well, um, fresh wood shavings in there and I've been mixing it up lately uh, for the spring since the last uh, week on uh, now um, so yeah um, I will continue putting out videos of what I'm doing and stuff like that so have a good day I hope you've learned something